college football mm. playoffs. It's that season. Officially. The top four have been named. And there's some controversy, to say the least. Mm -hmm. Michigan, Washington, Texas, Alabama are your final four this year in the CFP. And you got the ACC champs, Florida State, getting snubbed. We talked about it. Jordan Travis injury really hindered their season, whether you want to admit it or not. And Georgia, another team that we talked about a lot on here, we didn't think the, the committee, you know, would really want to leave out the back-to-back -back champs, haven't lost a game in two years. But ultimately, I think they went with the four best teams, not the four best resumes. I'll pitch it to you. Thoughts on the CFP's final four. You can take it whichever direction you desire, because there's a lot of angles we can talk yeah. about with this. Um, first off, this is like what I wanted when um, the FSU game, before it even started. Once Alabama beat um, Georgia, I said, okay, Michigan's number one now. There's no doubt about that. Washington. Big win, they're number two. And then they got the three and four, because this is where it happened. You have Texas, who had a big old beatdown against Oklahoma State. Then you have Bama, who, you know, basically stopped the train. Um, and also, wild Bama stat, they have now beat every single SEC team in the last time that they played, which is, like, it's wild to think about. You saw this domination of Georgia. You just mentioned it, two years in a row of beating teams. Um, but Bama beats them and like people forgot that Bama was even existed, but they're still here. Um, forget who said it, but, uh, basically saying just reminder that we're still the standard like Alabama. Yeah, you're right. You are the standard. Um, but when I was thinking about it, I said FSU with on their third string quarterback, they would have to beat down Louisville. And honestly, I didn't think they were going to do that before the game started. And even if they did, I just didn't think um, it, it would have been another uh, TCU situation where you put them in, and they would just got. I just felt like they would have got blown out. Just be, like and it, and it's and it sucks, but I just didn't feel like they deserved it. So I, and so going in, I felt like I wanted Michigan, Washington, Texas, Bama. Because if you're gonna put Bama in, you have to put Texas because Texas beat them. Like that. That's just sorry. That's just you know. I know yeah. they. You know. They like to go for resumes, but like you just can't put Bama in there and then sneak Georgia or FSU and leave out Texas. Like that would have yeah. been inappropriate. Anyways, um, <laughs> on the flip side, FSU man, I feel so bad for them, especially Jordan Travis. The message he sent out he said, "I wish I would have, you know, tore my leg earlier in the season." Like that, that's heartbreaking. Um, and I and I do get it, you know. They still beat Louisville. They still went undefeated. I I get I get their claim, but um, I just don't think I just don't think they they deserve the shot. But what do, what do you think about the Final Four? Before I get into other things, uh, yeah, I'm right with you. This is what I wanted. I, I tweeted it out what I thought it should be, and what I thought it would be, and what it should be. What I thought it should be is what it was. So I'm stoked in that regard. The fact that I think we got the four best teams, the three best possible matchups, the two semifinals in the championship, whoever it is. Uh, we can talk about picks towards the end of this, but I, I'm, I'm stoked. These are going to be awesome matchups. And like you said, if it was Florida state would not be the case. Like, their third-string quarterback threw for 55 yards against yeah. Louisville. Like, if he went out and had, like, 250, like, two touchdowns, and, they, like, they beat down Louisville, I think you definitely make more of a case. Like, okay, this mm -hmm. is this team was more than Jordan. But it, we, we, it, we love Jordan Travis on, on, the, on the Zap show. He was in the Heisman talks for us all year long. Yeah, they a big chunk of that team. They weren't the team that we were praising in the second, third episode of Zap when we no. said 
because we thought we I'm pretty sure we said Bama, Michigan, FSU, and we all I think we had different answers for number four. I can't forget that uh, right now. I think I, maybe I said Georgia or Ohio State, probably Georgia, but they're just not that same team since he's been hurt, and it and it sucks. And like it's great that they kept on winning, um, but then again it goes all to <laughs> ACC Power Five conference. They're but they're bad, like they're bottom, they're bottom feeders. Like I just. I just think some of the wins that we saw from, you know, Texas and Bama, I just think those teams, I don't know, tougher conference. And um, like you said, if they would have beat them, it would have been a different argument. But I think all of this is to say that there should not be a four-team playoff. And thank God it's getting expanded. Um, this year especially, I think, there was, I think there was deserving teams. I think when they showed the final 12 and what the bracket would have looked like, that would have been amazing. Um so many great matchups, and then we would have saw answers because I think FSU um, would have had. The, I think their first game would have been pretty easy win. I forget who they were playing. Maybe it was like Ole Miss or something. Um, but I think that they would win that. Then they would play Bama. Then they would have like their chance of proving that they deserve to be there. And um, that was just my biggest takeaway of it all. Like we always yeah. have these conversations year in and year out. Expand the goddamn playoff. Um, know what's happening next year is it confirmed 12 teams i keep hearing different things from different people yeah who knows because they i know they retracted at one point and they were like thinking of delaying it or something who knows the nc the ncaa is just all over the place with it but it it is supposed to expand to at least eight at least eight um probably 12 who knows but yeah you're right this is i think this really puts into light like the why the four team playoff was always a problem. But even then it was it was a problem from the outset. Like because there are five power five conferences. So somebody was going to get screwed. Yeah. It, it never happened, but th- there was never like five undefeated champions. So it never it never happened. This year came close. Came close. But um yeah uh, s- on that note though it isn't fair that Florida State got in, but they also the ACC did vote against the expansion back when it was initially presented. So, Which, I'm not gonna say they did it to themselves. For but, them to do that is idiotic. Yeah, in the, they said now's not the time. Maybe sometime in the future. Which, sure, but now, now you can't go back and say you can't go back and say it's unfair that we were excluded from it. It's, it's really, it's not like it is, but life's unfair. Like, yeah, it it is what it is. Your quarterback got hurt. It, it, it it sucks, but you're, you're honestly not that same team. You're just not that same team. And I want to hammer down that point, but I also want to hammer down this point as well. Um, I tweeted what I I thought FSU was going to be in it just because of you look at resumes and all that stuff. They're undefeated, whatever. I thought they were going to be in it. Um, now, did I want them? No. But you look at it right now, they got, what, Georgia in the Sugar Bowl? What makes them not, like, say, no, we're not going to play in that bowl? Like, they they have every right to do that. Would you get mad at Florida State if they – I don't think they would because that's a lot of money that they'd be missing out on. But, like, if they're like, all right, you're going to jip us from this, we're going to jip you from this as well. Like, screw off. Yeah. I mean, that's and- – yeah, they could. They could. And then on the flip side of that, if they do play and they beat Georgia, they might do a UCF claim a national championship, which, I mean, not like I would accept it, but I would understand because Georgia was number one in the nation, hasn't lost in two years. They lost one time to Alabama, which with those teams, it seems like five out of five, five out of ten times, it's going to go either way of win or losses with those teams, no matter what year. Um, and if they like handle, not like they would, I think Georgia is going to whoop down on them, you know, no disrespect, but it's Georgia. But if they do, do they have a case? People have been saying that. I don't know. What are your thoughts on that whole question? Do they have a case for like a claiming- national championship, like a yeah. UCF national yeah. championship? I mean, n- no, they, they could, they control their own <laughs> destiny. They just had to beat. Alabama, which, and they didn't. (laughs) 
No, I'm talking about FSU if they beat Georgia in the Sugar Bowl. Oh, 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 oh my! Sorry, sorry. They're, yeah, they'd, be, I, they'd, I fin- they, they'd finish fourteen and zero. That is interesting. Um, I mean, sure they could hang a banner, but I mean that's like nobody's gonna accept it. But yeah. like it would be impressive if they. It would be very impressive if they went in there and beat Georgia. There yeah. would be either way out. There would be outrage. Yeah. Then they would have a case. Then that would make the NCAA look a bit. That would make them look a bit worse, I think. They'd have um, to. Yeah, I don't know. They just need to expand the fucking thing, dude. Yeah, that's the thing also. One last thing I'll say about this is this is the last year of it, like, supposedly. We're probably expanding next year. So I think they viewed it as, like, okay, there's not going to be any backlash from this when we have to make the decision next year, because we're not going to have to make it next year. So they're like, okay, best ratings, best matchups, best teams. Boom. Yeah. I don't know. It's wild. It's wild. Who do you think is going to win it all? Yeah. The, who do I think is going to win it all? I think, I don't know if I want to skip that far ahead. I think I have my, picks for these the two semifinal games and then if okay. i'm right then i'll pick who's gonna win it okay it's michigan bama i think bama gets it done yeah washington think... texas oh okay okay we'll talk a little bit more bama bama just, michigan. i just simply i think alabama's got momentum right now i mean milro was benched early in the season but he's new quarterback now to nick saban I don't think J.J. McCarthy is going to be able to put up enough points. I think Alabama will get, get put some points on that defense, and um, yeah, they might take the run away and force J.J. McCarthy to make some throws. Don't know if he's going to be able to do it. I like Bama. That uh, that video of Michigan was all I needed to see of them reacting to Bama get the four seed. Dude, that too. Like they know. Like <laughs> they're scared, bro. They're scared. They're scared. They're scared. And. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm taking Bama as well, and I don't, I honestly don't even think it's gonna be close. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's gonna be close. It's the Rose Bowl game too, which is kind of lit. But yeah, yeah, I think Bama they got that. Um, and then Washington, Texas. I think Washington. Panic. They've been battle tested all year. I think they they do enough. I think they do enough. I think Panics is going to be a little pissed off that he didn't get the Heisman because I don't think he's going to get it. Uh, and he's going to go out and um, put on a put on a show and, and and do enough. Texas, I think he can put some, put some points on on that uh, on that Texas defense. Horns up, man! I've seen what that that Texas team, man. I almost fell in love a little bit watching them. Maybe because I was working yeah. and watching them, and I didn't want to be at work, and that was like the only pleasant thing. But I think I might have fell in love with Quinn. Quinn Ewers during that game, man. He balled out. Dude, respect. I it's it's a close one. Like that it, game it will be better. Be best, what's up? That game will be way better than Michigan Bama. Oh yeah. It might be the best matchup that we could have. I yeah. Think, in the college football playoff. Yeah. Maybe maybe a Texas Bama rematch. But yeah. That's I, well, I, I mean, that's what I'm that's, playing that's for cool, the national man. championship. Yeah, that's what it would be. That's what it would be. That would be. I mean, that that'd be. I I feel like the NCAA might want that too. I'm I'm not afraid to admit it, dude. I think uh, I think we're I think roll tide. I think they win it all. That was gonna be what I said. Yeah, yeah I, was I, gonna I, be my I, day. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. But I just don't think any of these. I know Texas beat them, but a pissed off Alabama team is not who you want to go against. You almost want to go against an undefeated Bama team. Like you don't want to go against, especially go against them after you beat them. Like, dude, did you see Saban's pregame speech? No. Before it's his locker room pregame speech before the SEC championship. Oh my god! It made me want to put on an Alabama uniform, go out there, and put my body on the line (laughs) with that man. 
like yeah. I, I saw that and I was like, damn, like I, I see why he's like, like one, regarded as one of the best coaches ever. Like I gotta, Ooh. I gotta watch that. Yeah. It's, he was talking about like how Kirby was saying that they ain't the, they ain't the same anymore. This ain't like how Bama, the, Bama's days are behind him. And he's like, we're going to show them like, we're going to show them that we're still here. Oh man. It was, it was incredible. What, what had me wanting to run through a wall. That's awesome. And that's, that's half the reason that I'm, uh, I, I totally agree with you. It's a pissed off Bama team. Bama team was something to prove. It's a Bama team. That's not front runners for like, like for the first time, uh, first time in a while. And it's I, like, I, I can it's, already see the headlines. Like we're back. Like that type shit. Everyone gonna be talking about them all off season. How Bama's back? I can like already 